And this 101.4 is, I'm sorry, 101.8 Red Oak Dell here. I'm gonna make it into a walking stick. I got it from Cincinnati Dell store. Problem is, I didn't get my 101.4 cherry, so I wanted to work on that one a lot more than this one. So I'm gonna do a little different though. I'm gonna do a spiral, but I'm also gonna put on, carve on there a cross. I'm gonna try to do the cross on there. I'm gonna take some practice shots at it and uh, see if I'm any good at it. I have to hold it in place and trace it on with a pencil. So we'll see how that goes. I thought about it for a few seconds. I'm not going to do this pyro. I'm just going to do the crosses on it. Why not just do the crosses? You know, change it up a little bit. Okay. I got a little bit of the carving done on there. But, uh,. I gotta talk for a second, just for a few seconds, about something. When you do a carving like this on a grain, natural grain wood, you gotta push back the grain to where you carve it. Because if you don't, it ain't gonna stand out, you ain't gonna be able to see the carving. So I'm gonna go back in here, I'm gonna carve out. I did a little bit of work yesterday, just wanna get a little bit done, because I got quite a bit to do. And after I go in here and push this back, then I have to uh, sand it. And I ain't gonna show a ton of that. I'll show a little bit, but I ain't gonna show a ton of that. So. Down there. Now I gotta deepen the holes a little. I gotta deepen the carving. Okay, the stick's done. All done. You can see the crosses on there. It's all done. It's all done. Uh, so I didn't carve much of it, but nonetheless, it was. Uh, uh, it was a lot of work. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a freeform maple like this one, but freeform is so much easier to work with. So I hope you guys enjoy it. One, one more look, real fast. One more look, and it is done. This is a red oak walking stick. It'll be probably get sold soon. It's all done. Good working guys.